What's happening people? Welcome back to the Samazan channel. My name is La and today we're going to look at making a siren slash gliding lead. Uh, so this, the reason why you would use a siren in a track is to build tension. It also adds this really nice like atmosphere. So I'm going to play uh, this little track that I've been working on and you'll see how I've applied it to the track. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I'm going to show other elements of this track in, in later videos, uh, but today I want to focus on this sound because I really like it. It does add a lot to the track. Uh, so it's this sound. I'll just solo it. It's going to take a little while to come in. Right, so it's, it's essentially like a gliding lead, but it, it gives that feeling of a siren, uh, just I think because of the way that I've used the MIDI, so just working down, uh, as you can see here. Important thing to do, uh, well at least what I've done is I've overlapped the notes here so that they glide into each other. So if you're using this sound, it's important to do that. So let's have a look at the sound design. Uh, the processing isn't much going on at all. It's just uh, these two here. The reason I've used an auto filter is just to gradually bring it in rather than it coming in straight away because at this point in the track it would just be a bit too strong. So uh, let's go here. So this all started from a bound to divide preset um, for PML which I'll link down below. It's this sawtooth and I have the original preset down here. So we'll have a listen to this and then I'll just show you the little changes I did to, to get it to where it is. So there it's, it's obviously a lot louder, but it's a lot more open um, and it has less noise on it. So I added certain things that I, I just wanted in the sound myself. So I wanted like noise in there. I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle and I added a bit of chorus as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this sound to this point here. So it's sounding a little bit more like how I have it. Cool. So we'll solo this. And for people that are new to sound design, I'll just go over what's going on with the sound. So we have a look over here at the voicing or the uh, oscillators. And what we have is two oscillators and they're both uh, on the same octave. One of them is a sawtooth and then the other one is a saw and a triangle. There's a little bit of pulse width going on with the one and two. That just means that the shape of uh, one and two, so the, the sawtooth and the triangle is going to be moving a little bit. There's going to be a slight change. Um, and then if you want to look here, just at the mix. So we're mostly listening to the left side at the minute. What I did is I wanted some noise, but I didn't want that much noise. So uh, if I had left this all the way over, if we have a listen, it's too strong. So you can mix over to this side. I think that's about where I had it. So then I can subtly bring the noise in. So say if I bring this all the way down, there's next to no noise and then we can just gradually and there we go we get this really nice uh, gritty noise and so if we go over to here with the filters we have the filter that's like in the middle so it's not completely open and then we have an envelope which is opening it up even further which, give it, which is giving it a bit of an attack so when the sound comes in there's a, a, a strong attack to it so I think what I did is I made it a little bit more gradual so if we go here I have it a little bit more open, but I have these envelopes where the they attack is a little bit slower. So we can just do that, bring this up. I think I took off this 12 dB as well. Yeah, I did. And then this envelope too wants to come in slowly as well. There we go. And then the next thing that we want to do, I think is adding some chorus. So we come down here and with the chorus, I kind of wanted that wobble feel. There we go, we can actually leave it where it is. 
and I possibly made it a little bit more wet. So we bring this dry all the way over to here. So it's really far back in the mix, which is kind of what I wanted. So I wanted a siren that's like kind of far away, uh, just kind of, I don't know, going off in the background. So that's what I wanted to do with the, with the reverb. And if you ever want that, that kind of feeling, so with like a pad or some kind of background sound, just remove a bit of the dry signal, increase the wet signal, but be careful that you don't push it too far, that you're just going so far into the stereo field that you won't hear it in mono because uh, you don't want that. Okay, I think we have the sound where it should be. Uh, maybe a little bit more glide is needed, so we can come and fix that. Um, we got this up here as well, which, yeah, it's all good. So we can put, oh no, the glide is there. So yeah, I think we have everything exactly where it needs to be. Let's have a listen to this one. Let's check the volume. Yeah, this is a little bit quieter. And let's just copy the chorus settings. So the rate and the depth is a bit less and so is the wet. And there you go. We have a, a nice siren. So yeah, if you just want to grab this uh, preset, I'll link it down below. It's this uh, L, it's a lead sound called Sawtooth, spelt with an F. And uh, yeah, then you can just do these small changes by watching this video and you've got, uh, got yourself a siren. Cool. Thank you very much for watching this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready-to-use and club-tested Diva presets. You can browse by the genre and style you are looking for or get the incredible deal with the full Diva preset button. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.